Topeka 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. So guys, there's a few that I want to talk about a little bit more than the others this morning if I can get this fucking volume to go where I want. Look at that. Okay, you guys get to listen to a little bit louder music today and that's just the way it goes. So, first things first, I wanted to show two of UB2 Sob's cloud art. I thought it was fucking phenomenal. So I'm going to show a couple at a time. So here's two of them right now. So UB2 Sob, thank you very much for the user-generated content, but for the memes and the cloud art, I think it's spectacular. A sight to be seen, that is for sure. So if you see him in chat, give him some encouragement. Thank you, UB2 Sob. And now, obviously, we're still looking at the same thing we've been looking at. Doge. Seems to have hit a bit of a re uh, support zone. We're going to see, with, uh, like I showed you earlier, DGB, right before breakout, it had these two zones right here for an eight hour stretch where it was red. Doge made the same initial move and now it's got the two hours that are red. We still got another hour and 18 minutes. Let's see how much it pulls back. So that's Doge. Um, so that would mean Matic, ADA, Algo are all in that same formation and we're looking for a move. As you can see, they're all on those two uh, four hour red candles which is how another reason I know they're in the same exact pattern. The total crypto market cap is up 1.06% to 1.62 trillion. And as you can see in the drawing that we made, whoops, it'll load in a second. The crypto market cap was around here and I said it was gonna end up over here and that's exactly where we're at right now. So it all correlated beautifully. AMP is another one that I'm looking at. AMP looks like it's all coiled up. It looks like it's ready to go. So there's a possibility AMP could be running the 10 to 15% today. So if you want to get it on AMP now would be a good time. Obviously it's all a risk. Beta Fuel looks like it wants to run and it's consolidating right now, but it looks like it needs to run up. So Theta Fuel is a great price right now. If in fact it runs up. So I said it's all a risk, but if they do run up, we've got a lot of evidence to suggest that they're all gonna at least at one point have a run up. And Charlie with Quant, what did I say? When it runs to the top, you're not going to want to be in it. You already really don't want to be in it because uh, it was a risk to see if it went up. But once it consolidated down here, Charlie, don't act like I haven't been saying you can buy the consolidation points. That's where you're getting fucking twisted and you're pissing me off. You're so condescending in my chat. Every single comment you make is always to bash me. You never say good job, Tom. Nothing. It's been months, dude. You've watched shit come down 50% since you started watching my show. And then I even told you where to buy, but you want to blame me for every step of the way. I even told you to buy Quant when it retraced. I said, if you want to buy Quant and look for it to go to the next level, buy it when it retraces, when it was in the 120s. You're damn right I told you not to buy it when it was up at 143. You want to get wrecked? Because you would have never held it from 143 to 122, and that's the bullshit a lot of you in my audience never want to admit to. Sure, it's great if you would have bought it at 144, it retraced to 124, and it ultimately ends up at 170. But my audience would have never held it from 143 all the way down to 121 with Bitcoin crashing. And if you say otherwise, you're full of shit. Otherwise, you wouldn't need me. So, Charlie, sit back, pay attention to what I'm actually saying, and stop making me look like a complete fool in the chat. It's all you've ever done since you started in my channel. I don't know why I never banned you, but I'm waiting for that one time... When you give me a compliment, there's been 6,856 straight times, Charlie, where you put me down. It's unacceptable. Do better. We're doing the 100 likes for 100 videos in a row. If we can do that, we have a $125 jackpot at the moment. It continues to grow every day. Um, we have six straight videos that have been over, or, uh, what was it, one, two, three. seven straight videos over 100. So this would be number eight. Don't forget to do that. XRP, we're looking to see if it's in this retrace and if it can uh, bounce up to the next level. But we're expecting an all-out collapse in the crypto markets. And I wouldn't expect it yet because I still say that Bitcoin needs to go up and make one last part of the head. This looks more like a neckline than a head. So like I keep saying, if it was me, I think it would have to go up like this and make it look better. So that's just me. I could be completely wrong. I still think Doge has to have a little pump you know, 10 to 15%. I know it's up from yesterday, you know, and I know from where we bought it, it's up. But let's face it, this is not the pump I was talking about. Even at its top, 
Oh, great. Now that's annoying. You know, even from the bottom, if you bought it at 19.5 up to almost 22, that's not even as much as I wanted. So I'm looking for crypto. Now the future's open tonight, so that's going to make it interesting. So, but I still think some of these have one more leg up. I think Bitcoin's going to ultimately do one more leg up, probably crash around 42.5, 43, possibly hit 44. I don't think it's going to 50,000 like a lot of people. I think it's going to reverse. We're getting close to the reversal top side, so we have to be very cautious. So, like I said, if you guys are one of the people that are always condescending in chat, look yourself in the mirror because I've given you every opportunity and then some to make significant money. Stay true, stay blessed, and get off my nuts. Period.